Hey guys, Crew Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Aaron. And we are back with Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Last time on, we had some uh, Killer excellent, Robots. excellent adventures with Mac Daddy and Big D. Yes. Yes, we did. Uh, and we met a new S.H.I.E.L.D. team, uh, or at least the, the beginnings of one. And we talked about if you could take one of those members into the future with us, which one would it be? Um, so we had 10% say Cricket. Cricket. I don't know how they would take him, but we put him in there He's just dead. for the sake of Cricket. I said, why are we put him there? That doesn't stop you take a dead guy? Pick people before, Aaron. You take a dead guy. Uh, yeah, let's take his body. 22% uh, said Olga Pachinko. 31% said Tommy and Ronnie Chang. 36% said Roxy Glass. Yeah. I liked her. She seemed cool. Yeah, she was she cool. She had a good old talk in the Mac. Uh, the Air Nation uh, says, I love their, their dynamic with each other and how they just ran at the first sign of trouble. I'm assuming the Chang gang. Is what Air Nation is saying. So they loved that they ran the first side of trouble. And lasers! I know you have a fear of lasers. Uh, Joel says for efficiency, it's Roxy. For badassery, it's Olga. Olga. For the fact that I want them, the Chanks. Well, what's your choice? That's just what he said. A lot of people saying Chang Gang! I like that song. Is it Fleetwood Mac? On the Chang Gang. Is that a song? Yeah, there's a song. I think about Fleetwood Mac. I'm on the, it's a chain gang, but it's talking more about like a, the chain gang is a group of people that work on the railroad because they're prisoners all chained up. Like, ting, ting. Garrick says, Olga, the bulk and power. Nathan says, Cricket, as he would sell me Coke whenever I'm thirsty. Uh, Forever Lannister agrees. Cricket, he's a saint and he can always hook me up with some Coke. Caleb says, I picked Roxy, but screw it. Take all of them, Deke Squad. No. And we'll end with Ashgar77, who said, I'd sacrifice all of them to bring back Grant Ward. Ward? Yeah. I like Ward. I need a blood sacrifice to bring him back at this point. But we'll yeah. see. We'll know. see what happens. Or we can just time travel in the future and see him when he was alive. Can we do that? I don't know how. Well, right now we're in the 80s, right? Are so we still? Yeah. Well, so we got, we hooked back up with uh, Mac Sybil. and Deke. Sybil's doing stuff. Sybil is doing stuff with yeah. Nathaniel Malik. <sighs> Damn guy. Probably still has his powers, right? I don't know. We'll see. I hope they don't. Ah, damn it. The right Did we... Is this... Do we watch this? Mac! Okay. Like, they didn't show any of the last episode. No, no, no. Oh, we're going so watching we them. Go after him? According to satellite telemetry, we've jumped approximately 481 days. Hey, my birthday! I mean, it would be if I was alive then. Yeah, you weren't born in 83. Mm. Whoa. Whoa! So cool! It appears to disintegrate anything it touches. Mm. So we need to find a way to slow down those pulses. Or move fast enough to go between them. Yo, yo! She the can't. drive's not the only thing that's broken. If what? I try to cut him taking away my power, then Wait. maybe... Oh. What can you do? Simmons. Do what can you do? <laughs> I wish I did, but I just don't know enough about human biology to... My mom does. October of 1983. You should be resting. I'm okay. 1983, right? Jaying, is that... We're gonna go to afterlife? Anyone knows how to cure in human powers, it's her. Can we get there? I want to see Gordon again! So we go there, visit that, and then you come back. What are you doing? Of course. I'm Yeah, but... We're gonna need him. That's a far cry from uh, the beginning of the season. Yeah, before he was like, we shouldn't do this. We should give it to him. Whoa! <laughs> Wait, what, what year and day are we in? October still? Sit down. Do we jump? I can feel you worrying from here. You can? I thought you needed to touch someone to do that. Where did this start? Well, we're in the lighthouse. Oh, she has a little bit more reach. I picked up on you and Max um, <clears throat> reunion mm. from outside mm -hmm. the room. Ha 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 ha! Babe, that's horrible. Well, it wasn't all bad. Can't outrun Gordon. Can't outrun Gordon. Gordon. Is that Gordon? I can't tell. Looks like he had eyes. I thought he Please. did. Don't bring me back there. Take her over. That ain't Gordon. That's Gordon. That, yeah, okay. that's Gordon. Alright. Alright. Come here. 
kind of wanted the actor back, but I guess he'd be. He would too. be young. So who cares? I mean, who cares? I, I just put a he wig on him. I'd be, I would just. Be, I would fucking buy she it. Her, but she lived forever. So. Inhuman. <sighs> I'm an inhuman. Yeah. That's a prosthetic. <laughs> Ah! Yeah. I don't like it. At all, Eric. At all. Oh. Hey. oh. That was a great noise. Um, ah! <laughs> I'm just not sure how stabbing you with needles is going to help me run faster. Right! It's just <laughs> Sorry. You would run faster if I tried to stab you with needles. Whoa! You can make knives? Oh! Yeah, she tried. <laughs> she needs to get that demon blade. It went. I can handle things from here, Lee. Lee! Lee! Look at that demon blade thing he's got. Yeah. Did you just get one? Can you get more? Can you get does a sword? Can make them or does he conjure does he, them? Oh, sh sh does he have like a, like a shadow pocket he puts them in? Prison pocket. No, sh no, not a prison pocket, Eric. That's yeah, different. Stand back. There's going to be surge of electricity. Electricity's dangerous. Do I look like a Neanderthal to you? I spent time with a tribe of Neanderthals. Agent Sousa does not resemble one. He lacks the characteristic brow ridges. Can we just respond, <laughs> please? <laughs> Tony, we have more. Time. Why did we both go there? We both said it like we said home in Star yeah. Wars. I don't know why we both went there. Nothing came up. I'm sorry you admitted that your problem isn't physical. Mental. It's in your mind. Mental! You must clear your mind. In fact, this gift may be the key to helping Elena. Hmm. You could guide her on an exploration of her emotional past. Whoa. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> They're really not. They are both so stubborn. <laughs> Look at them. This is literally my worst nightmare. <laughs> she didn't fight anything that had to do this. And all I'm feeling from you is embarrassment. If physical contact will help, I have an idea. Fight. Yeah, fight. They can fight to figure things out. <laughs> Put these damn candles out of the way. Oh, dead people. Oh. Dead people she's killed. Yeah. I barely had time to think. She just did it. I acted on impulse. And that's what she's afraid of doing? <laughs> yeah. Fight the emotions out. Oh. What's this? That's a young one. That's, that's before I know. I think we're finally getting somewhere. Why isn't that far back? Is she like here? a brother? Hi. Hi. It's up to Hi. you, you know. <laughs> I can try. Oh, come on. Save the Zephyr. If you can just print shit, print him a new leg. We are not in the best shape, mm -hmm. are we? They, they are, right? No. And they, Sousa. You gotta cut off the old one, Eric. Who says he wants you to do that? You won't be lifting all over the place. Would you have a limpy leg or a... Fake leg. A fake leg. That works better. Oh, there's side effects. I like to be prepared. <laughs> if I had to just leave. Jumped out of an airplane before? Yeah. Have a parachute the second time. Everyone, Ward saved her. Yeah. As in season one. I put it together after you. Fitch was about to. There you go, Eric. Prosthetics have come a long way since the 1950s. Okay. Yeah. But who says yeah. he wants one? Who says he wants one? No, he doesn't want one. No, he wants one. Part of him. His leg is part of him. Agent Simmons, you forgot this. That's weird. Parece que hay un ladrón aquí, eh? Espera, por favor. Me voy por lo que es mío. afraid of what you'll do to her, Lee. No. That's not what she's afraid of. 
She can feel it. Is she gonna go try to kill herself? Is that what she's trying to do? She's afraid of hurting people, killing people. Whoa! Wait, those are quake sounds. Is it Nathaniel? Oh no. Damn it. Oh no. He got a cool trench coat. No. Corey, you don't have to die today. How does he know of her? He was never in this timeline. The, in the Chronicoms are doing stuff. Oh no, is she recording anything for Fitz? Fitz. No! It won't be easy. And I will find some way to be together again. Time, space. It's never stopped us before. <laughs> and I won't stop trying. I love you. There's only fear in your eyes. You don't see anything but a threat. Admit it. No. I love you. I've always loved you. No matter what. You were gonna let him put a knife through my heart. Never. Use your emotion thingy. Sweetheart. Sweetheart, remember when I would read you stories till you fell asleep? What would I always say at the beginning? I'm not a child anymore. This is a prison, and I finally found my way out. Don't explode. Everybody's right there. What happens? How do you stop exploding, man? Lee, no, stop! Oh! Okay, well, use the power. Hey, his face is messed up now. face. My daughter is still out there. Is Cora her daughter? She made her choice. But that man with her, Nathaniel, he's our enemy. Really? Or was that like metaphorical? I'm not, I don't know. I felt like a daughter daughter, but maybe it's not. So it's Daisy's sister? Fire bit. <laughs> it's gonna be close. One shot. I'm not throwing away the Marvel has one shots all the time. You can do it. Whoa! Oh, look at that. Get in there. <coughs> can do it. Oh man. Can do it. Can do it. Wow. I'm never gonna get my powers back. You'll bounce back. Always have. Maybe I'm not supposed. What is it? I don't have to bounce back. Huh? Does she just have speed? Don't come back to where you are, just go forward kind of thing? What do you mean? She doesn't, she doesn't have to yo-yo. She just goes. But she has to yo-yo. I don't know. What, is she just gonna yo? Yeah. I love that. I love that. She can't just yo this whole time? She just goes. She yelled. Yeah, look at your girl in there. She's holding the thing. Yeah. Can she quake? That's what, that's what I'm curious about. Or are they going to take it away? Maybe you get some more powers. Does yeah, he have a thick leg? leg, baby. So they cut off his old leg? Yeah, why not? What if there's like side effects? Do we know that he had a leg this whole time? We never saw yeah, it. Yeah, maybe he just had he a thick leg. leg. I can't remember. Yeah, you fucking idiot. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of stuff that I you know, really miss about the 80s. Hey, you play the drums by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> I bet she's amazing. Uh oh, what's, what's going on? Are they gonna jump without the thing? It didn't work. Oh, no. No, what does that mean? That they're gonna sink. But it, it's been a long, long. This just feels right. No! Don't you think? I feel like we should shake things up. Anarchy? Uh, he's going full joker. <sighs> mm, I'm gonna assume at this point, the use of the word daughter just means daughter, and it's not a metaphorical daughter. Yeah, so that's, I mean, because I, I like May gonna... gave like a couple looks being like, when she was talking about when you were young and I sang to you or whatever, I read to you, and she's like, look at her like this, you know? So, yeah, I will go there, too. But, huh. So, so in a normal timeline, she died. She would have killed she herself. She killed herself. Yeah. So, at the very least, 
It's a half sister to Daisy, right? Yeah, I, I don't doubt, know who the father is. I, I doubt that it might not have been uh, Cal. I'm very interested in like the time thing. I'm not super interested in the Nathaniel stuff. I don't know. He doesn't. I don't know. He doesn't strike me good as like a villain. I like the Chronicom stuff better. Yeah. Nathaniel, like, there's something about him. Like, I'm not quite getting like a yeah. There's our villain kind of thing. I guess you know. Not his know. outfit was too evil guy. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, then and then afterwards he's he's like doing this kind of like. I don't know, he's doing this weird thing with like, his hands and fingers, and I'm just like, he doesn't feel like a villain. He feels like this teenage angst guy who doesn't know what he's doing. He feels like a, like a sub-boss or something. Yeah. Before you get to the Maybe. Thing. Maybe. There's Sybil still it's out like, there, I guess. Yeah, but... we gotta beat Sybil. No, I understand. And, like, he's not quite doing it for me yet. Yeah. I mean, we've had some high highs this season. This wasn't a high high for me, but it wasn't a low or anything. I don't think I like the... I don't like the restriction of Yo-Yo's power. I think it's kind of less good with her just being able to just run fast. I don't know. There's something, to me, way better about the limitation of you have to return to where you are, you know? And if she just always do that and just had like a thing in her head where she couldn't, it's kind of not a good reason for me. I might get it, and that's what it is, you know? But I just didn't, I didn't love that part. I like Yo-Yo better than Yo. I think out of the season, this might be my least favorite. Just, uh, I, I like... I like seeing Jaiing again in Afterlife. Yeah, I like them trying to deal with Yo-Yo and, you know, I think we even talked about it before about maybe it's a psychological thing where, like, it's in her head. Yeah. And she's just not moving rather than, like, oh, I've been poisoned and this strike is messing with me and stuff, you mm -hmm. know? And I, I get what you mean. Like, I remember I was talking before about Yo-Yo whenever she got powers and stuff, too, and we were like, it's a different thing of doing a speedster that has a limitation. Then then you can't just always be like, oh, well, well you why did you do this yeah, with exactly. speed? exactly. Well, she always has to do this within a heartbeat and come yeah. back and stuff. And I mean, I'm sure the heartbeat thing is still there, right? Maybe. Unless it's like, oh, I, I fucking made that up too, you know, or something, you know. But I have to assume the heartbeat thing is still real. Because you have to have some kind of limitation to it. Because you're right, then it's just like, well, you can fix everything now, you know, unless you don't feel well that day or something. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, they... And I don't feel like I'm... Uh, Disparaging people that have like mental blocks and you know psychosomatic things, where like it's really hard for me. I, I get you, but just as like a a power base, I just really enjoy the yo-yo aspect of it. So yeah, well, like it was, I like seeing back into her childhood too. Yeah, like we saw different things of like moments that she might regret of like her just like is that the right decision? Did I do yeah. the right thing using my powers and doing this? And then they go back even further when she didn't even have her powers mm -hmm. when she went and. Did the thing and yeah, I don't know. It, it, it would. I feel like it would kind of make sense that if she had a limitation on her powers and then something else happened and then she limited herself even more psychologically, but there might still be an initial power limitation with like the heartbeat thing or something. Hmm. But you know, she as a child left the safety, went out real fast, came back to the safety. No, I get that. And then that's like what she always did whenever her powers came. Is like she would leave and come back. So maybe breaking all of that. I don't know. We'll have to see what they do. So where they go she, back. More she of like it. somehow got like self con like self consciously figured out that it was the thing that's holding me back is that I'm always returning to the same spot. I did not do that. And now she could go fast again. Yeah, so like I need to I need to bounce out of this and not you know. I don't know, not not have regrets and not come back yeah. to my safety all the time and always have like a safety net of like, well, I'm, if I'm safe here, I can go out and do this, come back here, and I'm safe. I think there's a way that you do it that I can definitely be like, okay, I get that, but I don't know if that was this. It feels like the foundation went, like we had to go back and build that to introduce that idea or whatever. I don't know. It's okay. I, I wish you'd yo again to her previous yo. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I like that much more than Nathaniel. <laughs> Nathaniel yeah. for me is like, eh, okay. Sure. I guess. He's stealing powers. So do you think that he's taking powers and giving them to his people, or is he going to give himself multiple powers? I don't think he's giving it to himself. I okay. think he's talking about... He's, like, distributing the wealth. Gotcha. So if that's the idea, you don't take the take the wealth okay. and give it all to yourself. Give it to people you that know. deserve it, i.e. the people yeah. that... Yeah. It's like, why do they get it? Then he's talking about, like, that the that stars. Too. Yeah, right. Okay. The stars are what's deciding, and you screw the stars, I'm going to yeah. decide. And just... I don't know. So yeah. I'm tossing it out there. It's yeah. like the same as like it's the same but different of whenever we have the inhuman thing and they're like, got ah, fish oils. And we'll just mm -hmm. start getting all the inhumans to start popping up. Yeah. But I think he's gonna do whatever and then rather than the humans popping up, he just just people are just gonna mm -hmm. start getting powers. Okay. I don't I mean, know how he does it though. Yeah. Like is it a medical thing or has he figured something else out? I think or it's just a medical like, thing. Shh, 
Yeah. yeah. I mean, in terms of evolution of power, I did like Maze, where like the range is starting to get better. That makes sense. That seems, like a, stronger that seems like a natural progression, you know? And she said she thought she was feeling like herself again. I wonder if it's mutually exclusive. Like, can she have this ability and get emotions at some point again? Yeah. Know, her own. So, we'll, we'll see. I assume it will. Are you saying it feels like a natural progression? You don't think natural progression of, like, yo-yo? No. Kind of thing? Like, no. Duh, 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 duh. I, I feel like it's... Like, we kind of we had to like go back and say that oh this is why she puts this limit on herself, but she's put this limit on herself the entire time. We didn't know about it. We just thought it was a hard limit. You know, a lot of these inhuman abilities. Like, hey, you can teleport, but you don't got eyes. You know, you can run fast, but you gotta go back to the same spot. You can quake, but your arms are gonna shatter off. You know, like that's why I always loved about the inhumans. It's because there was kind of a give or take nature to their power. Um, and now it's just she's just real fast. I mean, as far as we no, know. No take. Uh, yeah, we, true. We, we, I mean, we there's the heartbeat thing, I, I guess, still. We don't know. I just, I don't know. I, I don't right. know. I feel like it kind of mirrors it with... Maybe I need time. Maybe I, I feel need like, like it week. mirrors it a bit with Korra. You know, like, talking about powers and limitations. Like, she's like, I can't control this. Whereas, sure. like, Yo-Yo was doing the opposite. She was controlling it too much mm-hmm. and, like, suppressing it to what she could be. Whereas... It seems like a weird she, suppression. I don't know. I guess it depends on, like... If you're just, like, a, happy, I, if you're just a happy-go-lucky person, you're just yeah. like, yeah, but if no, you I have, get like... You. You know, it's I a killed, psychosomatic condition yeah. she put on herself. Feeling guilty she because she killed her father. You because know? going back and forth from the closet killed her father, so she just made a condition that she always goes back and forth. Does that make? I don't know if that like follows really. I mean, it's it's going back to the safety. Yeah, right? it's like I, the safety. Her dad died. Yeah, but back to the safety of the closet. I think is what it is. Her brother was there, yeah, and she was know. keeping him safe. And you leave the safety, go out, come back. But I think. Mm. I think that was a... I don't know if that's necessarily the reason why she had it to begin with. I think that that's the idea of, like, look, she would leave. She she did it here. She left the safety, went out, did what she needed to, went back to the safety of her closet. But that's, like, a big step of her regret and her, like, psychosomatic issues of not being able to do that in general. Whereas, like, now it's like she may, may need to break free of that concept... And like, yeah, push out and go further. So and keep herself out there rather than yeah. retreating back. The catalyst of her not being able to perform her power seemed to be the strike, but that's not the case now. We learn it was just a it's fear and guilt in general. Fear and guilt. Okay, I think that's why she wasn't doing her powers. But no, I no, think I, the, I, I, I think the dad's saying. death is another one that actually stems from why she would yo-yo. Hmm. I would think that it would be. Why it's not creating be. why she yo-yos. Oh, no, I understand I get it. I know it's, 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 she's not doing it consciously. This is just something that's happening to her, that psychosomatic. It's, it's, it's in her head. She needs to, you know, figure out these issues before she can solve them. Unless she, if she doesn't know what the issues are, she can't solve them. I get yeah. that. It just, I don't know. It, it, maybe give me a week and I'll like it more next week or something, or they'll, you know, they'll keep going and I'll, I'll yeah. like it. But as of right now, I, I enjoy the limitation of the power more than I enjoy the reasoning as to why she was putting a condition of why to the, the entire time. So I don't think you needed it either, honestly. I mean, unless they you know, something later in the story that requires her to just be a speedster as opposed to the yo-yoing. I just think yo-yoing is just way better for the show right now. But maybe I'll be proved wrong later. But yeah, Cora, Firebends, going to kill herself. Nathaniel, who didn't die, came in, saved her. I mean, it's just this timeline is going a little even further out, you know. Yeah, I don't know how they're going to stop it. Now Jaying, like, they lost Afterlife, and her and Gordon were going somewhere else. And, I guess those well, two are the only ones that will make sure that what we've seen in the past, or in the past of the show, will continue. Because will she still be found by Whitehall, Whitehall? Or is Whitehall now being replaced by Nathaniel, and he's doing what Whitehall would have done? Or, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Because Whitehall, I think, was in prison. That's why Nathaniel, he was calling, trying to get information, <coughs> mm-hmm. and then doing the experiments that Whitehall couldn't do anymore, yeah. or something. Yeah, there's a lot of things in this episode that I wasn't a fan of, but I, I did like the idea of giving, you know, Sousa a better leg. You know, that way he can just be, uh, you know, just a little more natural, I guess, in the way he's moving and stuff. Did, did we see... Did we ever see his leg? No. I'm trying to remember a time in, like, Carter or anything where, like, we saw either A, no. like, a prosthetic Because when I first said it, I was, you were like, what, they had to cut his leg off? And I was like, yeah, you're right. But fucking yeah, if I, I could just give a better, awesome leg, look at Colson. I'm like, yeah, give me a better leg. 
Cut it! You know, but you're right. Like, he's always worn pants. We never see him in shorts. We never see him naked or anything. We've only ever seen, like, his crutch, and then he has a cane. And now, he just kind of... Yeah. You know. Which, I mean, the crutch could have been, like, they gave him, like, back in the, what? What was it, 40s? Yeah. Like, a crappy prosthetic leg, mm -hmm. and he limped a lot more with the crutch yeah. because it wasn't that good. And then you get into the... Uh, when we pick him up, 50s, 60s, mm -hmm. and... Maybe it's a better prosthetic, yeah. and now he's using a cane, and he's a little bit more used to it, and he's mm -hmm. a little bit more comfortable. I don't know. I don't know. It could be that. That makes way more sense than. I always that. imagine that his his leg was like mangled, and it was his natural leg, and he limped on it. Yeah. Because it was it hurt and it yep. was bad, you know. And then like over time, maybe it's kind of healed and gotten a little better, but it's never gonna be mm -hmm. good again. So whenever they said that, I'm like, damn, you're just gonna cut off what's left there and put it on? Why not? Well, if you had a hand that had like three fingers. Would you cut off the whole hand to get a whole new hand? Does the know? whole new hand work just as good or better than the other, my previous best hand? I don't know. They just created. What do you mean you don't know? Colson runs around. He's a fucking superhero. Well, he's a robot. It's awesome. He's a robot, Eric. Yo Yo has hands. Yeah, right now. What do you mean right now? Are they gonna fall off tomorrow? I, I don't know. They've never. I, she's used them for maybe a month. She what used them on Mac. What if there's side effects? May knows. Know? What if there's things? May knows. And ask May. This how is unrelated. Is what I'm saying. I'm saying there could be side effects. What if it poisons her somehow or something? What if they don't know? You're just saying they don't trust Gemma. The, she has this saying. time That's thing. They, she can't control that, but she can That's control the thing in her brain. This is ridiculous. Just saying. Hell yeah, take a better Might hand. be a risk. And we don't know. Nope. This is why you look at the Surgeon General warning or whatever. Sure. <laughs> and you know what? If it doesn't work, get a different one. Yeah, but you could have had a hand that did work with three fingers. So? What do you mean so? I'd rather have a day of five finger life than no, I don't want to disparage people with three fingers. <laughs> I'm saying like I have this and I know this works, but I'll cut off the whole hand now I have this. Yeah. I'm like fuck, this is poisoning me, I can't use it, I gotta take it off now. Not I have poison now you. I have no hand, Eric. No hand. You're the kind of you're like it's five G, it's poison her heads. I'm just saying, enjoy this, because at least you got that for sure. Let's check out some QA's. Alright, we'll start with Carter who says, uh, it was a great episode to have on my birthday. Happy birthday, Carter. Uh, I think Souza is my new favorite character, even though he is uh, in the last season. My question is, who is your favorite? Could be multiple people who died or keeps coming back, and I think Souza is the cop in Avengers. So he's going with that theory that maybe Souza goes all the way back to 2012, or goes forward to 2012, and is that... Um, he has a better leg, that's why he can move now? Maybe. Favorite character? Uh, I mean, I really enjoy Enoch and everything he does. Um, Coulson is also good. And uh, I also really enjoy Mac. But I'm, it, it, it just goes to say that I can be like, oh, yeah, and Gemma, and I really like Daisy. I also love Fitz, and I love Gemma. You know, like, I can, just, I can say that about all of them, but, like, as an absolute favorite, I don't know. Nathaniel's my least favorite right now. <laughs> uh, Dr. Winchester said, hmm, who else? Where else have we seen a girl named Cora with glowing white eyes? Yes, Legend of Cora. <laughs> Annie Saunders says, I, I missed you guys. I've missed the last two S.H.I.E.L.D. Q&As. Huh. I haven't seen the episode yet, so... Huh. Okay, well, we'll, well see here. Well, then any question is wrong. It's not even right. Who from the S.H.I.E.L.D. team do you think would fare well on Legends? I'd go for Deke. He's uh, goofy, tech-savvy, and untrustworthy. Um... Yo-Yo or Quake. For the legends, so we have some power people. Yeah, put a power person on there. It's a different power instead of just another person that has nothing they can fight. That's it. Yeah. You know? They got some smart they people. They could use, there. like, a Fitz or a Gemma, though, just to have a little more competency. No. Not that you have Fitz and Gemma. Yeah. Can you imagine we get into this at times, I mean, all fucked, and all of a sudden the legends just show up and <laughs> get them out of there? I don't want that. <laughs> That'd be terrible. <laughs> though, then that means that we would be canon in Marvel? Shield, then, too. Would it? Is that how that works? I don't yeah, know how that I works. Think, I think that's how it works. Andre says, uh, like the ep quite a bit, and I was really glad to see that Elena-centric episode that finally delved into her origin. Although I'm curious, what do you think of her discovering that she didn't always have to bounce back? Thought it was a bit convenient, but not bothersome. Well, uh, I didn't like it. Aaron, where'd you arrive on it? <laughs> no, I mean, I think having a few more episodes to kind of see where it mm -hmm. goes would be nice. Uh, especially if we know if there's still, like, the heartbeat limitation or whatnot, because she, like... She lingered for a long time. Yeah. But I also don't know how fast she was going. Mm -hmm. um, but, I don't know. I mean, the that that part of the episode did not bother me as much as, like, Nathaniel just kind of being, like, teen angsty and, I don't know. But I, I think it might be something that could be good to see yeah. where it goes. Mm. 
Uh, Dylan says, the way that S.H.I.E.L.D. makes me feel is different from any other show. There's something special about seeing Afterlife... Excuse me. There's something special about seeing Afterlife, Jai Ying, and Gordon again. Also, season four is regarded as the best season so often... I sometimes forget how consistently good every season has been. Mm -hmm. I agree. There's some great, great, great stuff. Yeah. Even going back when I was watching through season one and stuff, I'm like, this isn't, like, bad. It's just, like, it's very Freak of the Weeky, and mm. then they're kind of slowly bringing, like, a little storyline along with it and stuff, but it wasn't, like, a bad yeah. season. You know what I mean? Annie Saunders says, uh, oh, my God, Daisy has a sister? Uh, I freaking love this season. Fun fact, the actress playing Cora actually played Mulan's daughter in a Disney movie. Neat A. Yes, Agent May was Mulan. That was a, that's interesting. Got some Mulan uh, people coming in. Uh, mm. Also, yay for Susan getting a new leg. Coulson totally ships Daisy and Daniel too. Dad wants the best for his daughter. Uh, baby. I mean, I I did like his conversations. Coulson stuff might have been some of my favorite stuff this episode. But I mean, if someone gonna say like, "Hey, are you on board with the ship of Susan and Daisy?" I'd be like, I mean, I'll get on. Sure, but I'm not like rushing to get on or anything I, I, I like the uh i like the pairing but mm -hmm. if it did, ended up just being like friends then i would love that just as much as if it ended up being romantic but i don't want that to be the focus or anything no yeah i like them together i like susan in general yeah not a neanderthal i've seen <laughs> neanderthals does not have the brow ridges uh, Jacob says, I've enjoyed this episode, and it really helped out Yo-Yo's character mm -hmm. a lot as she's been going through a lot in the last two seasons, and it was excellent development of her character. I will say the biggest problem I have this season is its villains, to be honest. Um, yeah, I mean, the Korakoms aren't, like, the most compelling villains. No, but I, I enjoyed them more so than, I think, Nathaniel. Yeah. Because you also had, like, the, shit, man, anyone could be a Korakom. Yeah. It could be anyone. It could be Krunk. Yeah. And then it almost was Kronk. Yeah, right? <laughs> you know? So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted... I want. I think I'd be more excited if it was, like, Gideon. I kind of yeah. liked Wilfred. Yeah. You know, like, that was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. But then it was like, oh, Nathaniel's here. He's like, yeah. oh, okay, well, who's he? And whatever. He's like, oh, man, this guy's taking powers. And then yeah. this episode, I'm like, oh, this guy's, you know, Spider-Man from sure. the third movie. <laughs> Connor Rick says, while I haven't loved having Fitz absent all of the season... It will all be worth it if when we finally see him again, he has a monkey. What? Will that be worth it? Like, we don't get to see him all season, but when we do see him, he has a monkey? I just want... I think that'd be worth it, honestly. You're I right. I was talking to Melanie about this this morning and yeah. stuff, because she was like, I just hope we get to see Fitz this season. Yeah. I was like, I just hope, you know, we get to the end, we get like a reunion where like Fitz and Jim will finally get together. She goes, no, I just want to see him this season, see where he's been. I'm like, no, I would, n I would rather not have that and just have them finally get together at the end of the season. Yeah. And there we go. Yeah. So, I don't need a monkey. Or anything. I just hope that, like, this little moment here in this episode where Jim is like... So the monkey is not worth the absence? No, I don't care about the monkey. I don't care. You spank it. Remember that whenever she got high and she saw him as a monkey? Yeah, he's like <laughs> dancing on a spoon or a straw or something. But, yeah. I like that moment in here where, like, Deke's watching his grandma, like, you know, worried and almost saying goodbye to Fitz because mm -hmm. she doesn't know what's going to happen and stuff. Like, I just have one. I do want to know where he's been, but as long as they end in a decent capacity, I'll be happy. Monkey or not. All right, uh, Nestia, Nestia says, Do you think Daisy has a sister? Because May and Elena were in 1984. Daisy is born in 88. Her mom mentions that she has a daughter to raise. What does this mean? A sister or a messed up timeline? I think it's a sister. I think it's a sister that had killed herself in 84. And Nathaniel stopped that from happening. Did she say I have a daughter to raise? Uh, well, I mean, she did in the Zephyr, like the, uh, that, right? Isn't that what she said? That's what, we, what she said to actually daughter. Yeah, I don't know. I guess that there's a sister out there. I wonder what that's going to... I don't know. Daisy's going to have to go, and there's her sister or half-sister, and Nathaniel, who took her powers, and I don't even know if she has powers yet. And... Uh, Rafi says, uh, do we think there will be uh, a final fight or a war between the agents and now Nathaniel Malik, Daisy's sister, and the Chronicoms in the finale or near the finale? Also... Who else are they going to recruit? Ward? Hive? I mean, that could be interesting if we could have, like, an amalgamation of the villains in the past. You know, like the those ghosts. The Ghost Rider killed off. Oh, they are coming back. Oh, Ghost Rider on our side. Yeah. Ada. Ada on the other side. Yeah, Fitz comes back, but he's the... He's the... The doctor dude. Yeah. Or what about a Jarhead? The, uh, uh... Superior. The superior? Yeah. Like, yeah, his head was, like, in a jar, right? 
Wasn't that a Something thing? Something like that, yeah. And then, like, it was just a bunch of him? Yeah. And then he just got blown up one episode randomly. <laughs> John Jen's fat-ass worshiper says, I just realized that uh, this is only the fourth episode that Nathaniel's been in. He managed to become the character I hate the most in only four episodes. God, I need his death to be gruesome. Something like Colson crushing Ward's chest. I mean, we're undoubtedly going to get a Nathaniel versus Daisy. We must, right? right? Yeah. A quake off? Mm-hmm. Quake off. I, I mean, quake off! Yeah. yeah. And no, I mean, maybe he's doing a really good job, and I'm supposed to dislike him as much as I do. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Christopher said, who else got a little nervous when Yo-Yo was going to die, or that which she was going to die, when she said, I don't need to come back, and then ran for the time drive? I don't need to come back. Goes and grabs it and runs this way, and then just doesn't get back in time or something. Yeah. I thought about, like, I don't need to bounce back, and I'm like, oh, man, they said about, they set up the disintegration thing before. I'm like, maybe she's, like... Sacrificed herself. Risking her arms or something, you know? I don't know. It's not like she could lose her arms. Again. If she did, do those disintegrate and take her whole body with her, or do they disintegrate and then it's gone? Don't know. But she can just get new ones. Not if it disintegrates her whole body, Eric. Yeah. We don't know she how can, it works. She can get a new body. We can print it now. No, this Axis 77 says the nerd Larry in this episode is almost too strong. I almost squealed when it dawned on me that the love interest Victor and Sierra, so Sousa and Jai Ying from Joss Whedon's Dollhouse, might meet again. Oh, so those two actors being in Joss Whedon's Dollhouse show. Interesting. Never seen it. Yeah. No, no, they uh, We had learned that Jai Ying's actor was married to the actor that played Davis a long time ago, didn't we? We talked about that before, right? Mm-hmm. I don't remember. Miguel Garcia says, I assume we'll be uh, we'll get back to present day by the end of the season. Do you think Probably. we'll have a couple of episodes in the present or only an epilogue? I still feel... T- uh, they still need to address Piper and Flint. Yes. True. We had that, and then they were just like, well, all right. Mm-hmm. I don't know. We could have, like, an episode or two. I-, I think we're in the 80s now, right? Yeah. So we jumped again. We don't know where we're going. We're already in 80... What were we in? 86, 84, something like that. So, I think wherever we were, though, the idea was that it was jumping shorter and shorter and shorter until it's were jumping in on itself, right? Yeah, but we also lasted longer after removing that thing, so maybe yeah. it jumped weird. Mm-hmm. Or maybe it just jumped real short. I don't know. But yeah, maybe we end up in the 90s, we, I mean, for an episode or two, and then we go to the 2000s, and then we get back to our time, and then we can have, like, two episodes there. Yeah. Because I... Chronicom started there, but I don't know if we can beat all the Chronicoms in the past, or if mm-hmm. we can beat them in the future, too. I don't know. Uh, Andrew Courtney says, do you think the last jump was initiated by Fitz and not the drive, possibly? Could be. It could be how it is. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Someone was like, we didn't fix it. Yeah. Enoch could tend to know what he's talking about. Like, I don't know what it means, like, with that curve where you're just jumping in on itself. Like, is that like a, uh, like a fifth dimensional thing where, like, there is no time or something? Or they're just existing? Is it like the, uh... They don't start going backwards again or something, do they? Or is it like the the time chamber in Dragon Ball Z? Mm. Is it like a Groundhog Day situation? I like Groundhog Day. It could be like a Groundhog Day thing, maybe. That's a repeating over and over, and then they yeah. never get to leave the day. Yeah. I mean, I guess that could be the... That's where the curve ends, and you just can't travel in time? Maybe you're just stuck in time? The, the curve what does I... it mean to sync on a timeline? So I thought the curve was related to something else, because then they also showed like the bouncing, and it was closer and closer each time. Mm-hmm. So I don't... I don't know. Yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, Jess says that fun fact, Enoch's line at the end of the episode, I can keep tempo, is an ad lib from the actor. Uh, loved it. I also recently heard the actor for Enoch speaks normally, and it freaked me out. <laughs> I was expecting <laughs> Enoch voice. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure that... Like, that, seeing him mm-hmm. in real life, and he's just like, hey, how are you doing? You know, well, I said, hello, how are you? So we're just so calm and collected. I want to see what... I really wonder how his drum playing would be. Yeah. You know, because it's weird thing that guy, because he's so just kind of, like, very straight and slow and stuff, but, like, would he like would he have, like, a crazy-ass drum solo? Sure, I mean, he you was able I mean? to just look at that thing and see it was, like, 48 beats per second or something. Hmm. <laughs> Renee says, What do you think of Nathaniel being the big bad with Sybil? Out of all the villains we've had, he comes off as annoying more than anything else. But his control of his powers seems on par with Daisy. Also, I've been binging Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. since April. Happy to be caught up. Oh, that's wonderful. Good job getting caught up. We'll see. Yeah, he's not my favorite right now. Honestly, the one thing I didn't like with him, I kind of liked his uh, 
almost like the devil in the desert thing of just being like, hey, there's another way. Like, as she's like at the end of her life or whatever. I think that was interesting. I just really disliked his outfit. I, I don't care It just that. looks so, like, like, all right, bad guy. He's got a goatee, trench coat, fingerless gloves, go! I think it's part of the 80s thing. I don't yeah. know. But I, I didn't care for that. I didn't care for his, like, demeanor in general. Like, he doesn't seem menacing to me. Sure. I don't know. Hmm. I, I, I get you. I mean, it's not the most menacing I've ever seen, but in terms of, like, my dislike of him, it's, like, the outfit, and then it's the menacing. You know? Yes. I don't know talk like Cicada. No, Aaron. No! I'm gonna kill all inhumans. Uh, SB says that just me or Coulson seem a lot more jaded about being an LMD in this episode. What do you think it's gonna mean for him for the rest of the season? He did. He seemed yeah. bothered. Um, I mean, it could easily be that he blew himself up hmm. to sacrifice and defeat Sybil, and now he's back. Well, you know, I mean, it's like, just the idea of soul searching when you don't have a soul. Yeah, you know. I'm talking about his like drinking and stomachs and talking about ones and zeros and how that things works. But you know, you talk to certain psychologists and they might say the same thing about a human too. You know, uh, or people that are like deterministic versus free will or something like that. So we're talking about chemicals. That's just chemicals in your brain. Yep. Like you got to control that. It's like mm. what? And this is like, it's just ones and zeros. Yeah. You, know, you can control that. It's like what? Sure. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Uh, that's it. That's all the Q and A's we need to pull for this episode. Yo yo. Yeah. Okay. We'll make it that. The poll is going to be: Do you like Yo Yo's freedom and power yeah. base, or would you prefer the Yo Yo, or do you like the Yo? Is that Yo Yo or Yo? That's gonna be yeah. Yo, do you yo, want yo. her? Are, are you happy that she yo's, or do you wish that she would remain Yo Yo? Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. You can check out the poll over at patreon.com slash blindwave. Also, go check out our Twitch channel where we play games and have fun almost every single day. So go over and check that out. Well, sir, anything else? Uh, uh, Patreon, vote in the poll. You didn't say that. I, 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 I said that. I told you. I figured out what was going on.